Hello everyone, my name is Justin Lintz and welcome back to episode 6 of my FTL Advanced Edition Let's Play. And I'm going to change the format up a little bit for this. I'm Instead of uh, doing one really long video, I think I'm I am going to break up into smaller bits like 20 to 25 minute chunks. Just so that way it isn't... It doesn't take a day and a half to render just a single video, which I would much rather prefer, so it makes it easier to record and upload these videos, but um, yes. So we did Layout C last time for the Kestrel Cruiser. Turned out pretty good, we made it to the end, but we didn't win, as I have yet to do with the Kestrel uh, type. I have almost won with every single other ship that I have, except for the Kestrel, the new Lanny's Cruiser, the Mantis Cruiser, and the Stealth Cruiser. What I think I might do for this video is I might do... Let's try the Lanny's Cruiser. I kind of like the way it plays. It's a bit strange but I like the way that it plays. And we'll have Turing and Steven and Justin as our crew. We start off with a chain burst laser. This dual shot laser decreases its cooldown the more it fires. After three volleys it only takes seven seconds to charge. Seems pretty interesting. And also the ion stunner which I have mixed feelings about. I kinda like it but I'm also not a huge fan of it. We have emergency respirators. That'll be good for anyone who isn't a Lanius in our crew. And we have a cloning bay. I kind of like the idea of the cloning bay after the last run. Um, and let's get started here. I'm going to try and make this into 20 to 25 minute chunks like I said earlier. So let's see here. Very important things to do. Let's skip that. And let's uh, do something like that. And hacking, I believe, is really important with the Lanius cruiser. Not so much in the early game, but more so in the late game. Let's maybe go over here. I kind of like... Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I like that path a lot. And we start off with a solar flare right off the bat with an automated ship that won't be affected by the flares. Okay, that is not great. And they have a laser and a beam by the looks of things, so I'm going to ion stun that and then just try and actually permanently do that and permanently do that and uh, I kinda wanna hack their weapons might not be the worst idea to hack their weapons okay that's some damage that I was really hoping to not take there okay let's go like that oh, oh their laser's still up okay but our shields went up in time that made me feel a little bit better about that uh, solar flare coming in Okay, and it's in our weapons room, but that shouldn't be too bad between the zero oxygen in there and everything else, and uh, he'll just repair that weapon in due time. We can jump before the next solar flare hits. We won't have the weapon immediately ready, but uh, demand the surrender of their goods, prepare to secure their cargo by force, we will fire Okay, I think what I'm going to do is, oh right, it's still broken, they don't want to fight, they're trying to escape. We will hack their weapons, because I really don't want to deal with missile launchers if possible. And, seriously? Okay, Ion Stunner, up. Go for their shields, I guess. And then chain laser on their piloting system once I'm ready to do so. And I'll just wait until it gets a little bit closer, and then, uh, okay, we will activate the hacking, and, okay, and then we'll go for the piloting with our chain laser, there we go, and then, what do we do next? We have to, okay, so he's trying to get out, okay, that's some more hull damage that I would much rather not take, but we're doing okay. We just need to... Oh, okay, they're going to get another missile off, unfortunately. Uh, but it missed. Okay, that's good for us. Uh, they're charging that up again, but their weapons are completely offline, so I can go for their piloting system yet again. Um, that's right. 
uh, charges a little bit faster now. Okay, so now we'll go for their engines. They are completely offline, essentially. Um, actually, hold off on that, and then go like that. And they are dead, okay. So, it didn't go exactly as planned, but it turned out not terribly. And, uh... uh okay, I don't really need the missiles, but the drone parts are important. I'm gonna decline, even though reactor power would be really good. Okay, let's do some math here. Those are, I think, like six each. So that's 12 right there. And then, like, four each right there. So that's like 20 for... Basically 20 scrap for a reactor power, which is what I could pay myself, so no, no. Store, I would actually much rather not prefer to go to right now, so let's see here. I might change my course a little bit. It's a bit unfortunate, but uh, sacrifices need to be made. Uh, sure. My usual carriers, uh, except... Oh, yes, okay, and you know what? I'll go out of my way to go to that quest marker over there. <coughs> oh, excuse that coughing. And, uh... Reject their offer. Too bad. You will regret this soon. I highly doubt that. They have a laser and a uh, beam. Okay. Not the worst thing in the world to have to deal with, but I would much rather not have to deal with it if possible. And actually, that's excellent that they missed there. So now I can... Okay, I didn't take both weapons offline. And they resisted the damage that I did. And I missed. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm not actually dying here. I'm just... Having difficulties for whatever reason. Okay, both of their weapons are still upline. Which is not good for us, but... We've offset their timing in a way that... Oh, come on. Okay. Maybe we'll hold off on this until we can get another ion off there. Okay, and now we can get a double shot off on there. Oh. Okay, or maybe not. Maybe we won't. Okay. Um, right, I still want that to auto do that, and then we'll do something like that. We will not accept surrender. Okay, now both of their weapons are offline. We can go for something like O2 next. There we go. Their O2 is offline. They're going to have to prioritize that over most things, and they are dead now. So luckily for us, we didn't actually take any hull damage there, much to my surprise. And we will keep going here, aid the civilian ship. Uh, pirate is getting ready to attack us. Dual beam... Not the biggest concern in the world, but honestly, I wish that we didn't have to deal with things like that, if possible. And, uh, okay, so our iron is going to go off. Okay, so we did take one whole damage, but that's not the end of the world. Taking a little bit more whole damage than I would like to at this point in the game, but honestly, there are a lot worse things that we could be taking damage on. We might actually, yeah, we're going to wait for one more ion stunner shot to come in for doing that and do that. Okay, now they're going to have to prioritize that. And if they have one beam weapon up, that's not the end of the world. Uh, okay, wait for that to go off. There we go. And now they are in pretty dire strats. And we should be able to, ooh, I forgot about that, but uh, we're still doing well. Made contact the civilian ship. Oh, we got a crew member. Okay. Um, that's cool. Or, or I thought we did. That's weird. I thought we got a crew member there. Oh, well. Oh, man. There are a lot of beacons over here. I'm going to go to the quest one first, so that takes priority. I continue... Hmm. 
Huh. That wasn't really worth our time, I find. Um, but, oh well. <coughs> okay, this is a risky one. Um, oh no, we lost Justin. Um, so we don't have weapons anymore, but that's okay, I guess. Not really, but this is uh, wrapping up to be a more risky looking uh, run with the Lania ship, and we are in a, okay, prepared to die. Okay, uh, let's maybe get some hacking going on, wait, oh, they have super shields? What? Um, or no, they don't. That was really weird. Um, hacking on their weapons, yeah. So I can get uh, better hacking and other things. Uh, I don't really see much point in investing in anything else. Uh, okay, and that permanently on that. And we will just wait until one of these gets closer, and then we will start the hacking. So hack. That goes off, and then we go for, say... Let's go for their weapons. Come on, fire, 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 and there we go. Both of their weapons went offline. Perfect. That's exactly what I was hoping would happen. We'll go for maybe their oxygen next, uh, yeah, their oxygen. I'm probably gonna have to wait for another ion center to go off, otherwise their shields will be up still. And there we go. And next, we will have to go after something else, I'm not sure what we would prefer, maybe their piloting, oh, okay. Um, let's go for weapons again. There we go. Our weapons are fully charged. Let's go like that and go like that. We will not accept surrender. And let's maybe do a little something like that. Okay, that was a bad miss. And uh, we'll do a little something like that. Wow, we are missing like crazy here. A lot more than I thought we would be, in all honesty. And there we go, they are now dead. Got a little bit more scrap there, and... We have a more scrap than I thought we would at this point, and we cannot get rid of drone parts, as much as that seems like a good deal. Um, now we consider upgrading things. One thing I normally... I seem to really like doing now, if I have a cloning bay, is upgrading that, because then that's basically reactor power that can add to other things once my people are fully healed. Um, but for now, second level shields seems really important. Need to get that. Second level doors. Those two things seem imperative. So we will get that, jump to our next sector, and Zoltan or Uncharted Nebula. I don't like either of these options a whole lot, but I'm gonna go with Zoltan. Yeah, Zoltan. And... Okay, uh, I guess it doesn't matter if I go Zoltan or not, because it's still going to be Nebula, I guess. Okay, that's cool, but not really. And our evade is offline. Uh, spot, you spy two pirate ships lurking in a, the Nebula here. They remain unaware of your presence. You're able to get your scanners to at least identify their gar cargo. One is carrying fuel supplies, the other is ammunition. They begin to drift away from each other in the storm. Um, let's secure the ammunition. We're still doing pretty good on, uh, f fuel, excuse me. Oh, you jet towards the pirate with the ammunition and engage. Hopefully you can leave the ship in one piece. Uh, okay, so what do they, ooh, they have, we don't have enough for weapons? Oh my god. Wow, okay. So we're going to be relying on hacking to get through, uh, or, uh, shields and this flat cannon is going to be rather worrisome to say the very least and okay flat cannon coming in okay that was less than ideal 
So we need to repair that right away. Come on, okay. The rest of it missed, that is good. Okay, and let's just hack them right up. Oh, wait, I was hacking shields, that's right, okay. I'm just the world's biggest idiot then. Okay, and, okay, that is something that we cannot have offline right now. So, let's go for their weapons, so we don't, oh, okay. That flat can really needs to go offline or just miss a lot more. Like, a lot more. Okay, flat cannon is, I don't think it's offline yet, but, um, Oh my god, we are taking so much damage here. Like, this is actually the worst possible scenario that we could have imagined for ourselves here. Okay, and we will fire once more in here. Okay, and now we have to go for weapons yet again. But their shields are at least offline, so we don't have to worry about those coming in. And now they are down. And we only got 15 scrap for that. Like, honestly, that was a really, really bad sector for us. Or a really bad uh, beacon for us, I should say. Oh, and an asteroid field right afterwards, of course. Um... So, basically, the doom of us, uh, but they only have a laser and an ion center. That shouldn't actually be all too bad for us, all things considered. Because the asteroids will take care of the Zoltan shields, hopefully, maybe, I don't know. And uh, once we get those weapons down, everything else that they have shouldn't be too much trouble for us. And there we go, okay. Now, we want that to be going on to that, if possible. And please, okay, um... Okay, that was a bad laser, but, uh, that's fine. We can repair that afterwards, if need be. Okay, send our... Shields, but that's okay. Once again, I can handle that. As long as their laser's offline, they can't actually hurt us. I really need to figure out a better strategy for the Lanius ship because I, I'm not sure if it's just RNG that gave us bad odds, but I feel as if we could have done a lot better. Maybe I prioritized shields or second level doors too soon. I honestly don't know, or maybe it's the whole sending in my crew for the rides and losing someone right off the bat, that might have been a bad decision in, all, in hindsight, but uh, anyways, we will jump and go to this distress beacon now, and let me guess, oh wow, not a solar flare, I just free stuff, okay, that I feel pretty good about, and that is a vacuum cleaner in the background, if you can hear that, I apologize for that, but that's, I don't have control over that at the moment, um, Okay, what do we want to do here? We have level 2 shields. Their beam weapon shouldn't be able to affect us. So we'll, we will just constantly ion beam that and then go for other systems like oxygen, piloting. Yeah, because their weapons shouldn't... Oh wait, oh it was a double shot. Okay, that changes things up a little bit. So fire, fire, fire. Okay, there we go. Took down their double shot. That feels good. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I really don't know what's going on with my uh, voice right now. Okay, and double shot on that. Okay, weapons are down yet again. That always feels good. And that 
will go off, and we will do that. And now both of their weapons are offline. I can go for another system, but honestly, the next shot will take them down. There we go. 22 scrap from that. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. I really wish we could find another crew member. Um, I don't feel like paying 44 scrap. So we'll attack them, and those are both single bursts, I believe. So once again, we are free to just do this and then go for any other system that we feel like maybe piloting first. That seems like a wise choice. Yeah, as long as our shields can charge up in time to deal with their lasers, then I don't feel too bad about how we're doing. And that will fire again. Okay, this time we will aim for... Actually, I should wait because, yeah, their shields are going to be up anyways in time. Oh, and we missed, but they are trying to get away. So they are charging the their FTL. Okay. Uh, yes, we will accept. We need more crew members right now. Um, probably going to prioritize putting him on weapons, if I have to say. Your shields are doing us fine right now, as they are. And uh, we'll go down here and then to the store. And we find absolutely nothing. I was a little bit afraid of that. We will go to the store next. And we will find uh, drone control. Wouldn't be bad. Cloaking. Wish I could afford it, but I can't. My control, also really, really good. Reverse ion field, backup DNA, shield. None of those documentations really appeal to me. Uh, ion stunner again, or ion charger. Um, charge time six seconds. Shots per charge. Max, max charges three. I have mixed feelings about that. That would be nice in combination with everything else that we have, but uh, that's 50 right there, plus the... You know what? Why not? Let's go for that kind of a build this time. I'm not generally a fan of uh, charged weapons, but we'll see how we feel about that in the short uh, future. And uh, we definitely do not want to sell emergency respirators. Um, yes. Now let's go to the ship. Uh, we need, we need a lot more. Let's get two of that right away. And then we will jump over to here. <coughs> Man, I, oh, and of course a pulsar as well. Why not a pulsar? And we will, okay, what do they have for weapons? Single beam and a laser. Normally under, under normal circumstances would not be that terrifying, but under these circumstances, it is significantly more terrifying, because they can just get us with a laser while a pulsar happens, and that is not great, to say the very least. And, uh, okay, after this fight, I might be thinking about, okay, so their weapons are down at least. Um... I may want to do something like this. Another... Man, I feel like as if those were pretty close to each other. Um, let's maybe go for their piloting... Or, no, uh, weapons one more time. All their shields are still permanently down. And we will go for... Assuming our weapons... Assuming that our weapons don't go down. Uh, we will go for their piloting. Still hasn't gone down. Excellent. Uh, we will go for their oxygen. Yeah. They're trying to get away. Now they're trying to surrender. I won't allow that. Oh, right. That's still up, but they have zero dodge chance, so they couldn't avoid that anyways if they wanted to. Get 31 scrap from that. And, uh, yeah, let's jump to our exit here. I don't know how I feel about this run so far. Um, I'm just going to jump into our next sector. I'm not using missiles at all, so I'll just give them all of my missiles. And we get drone recovery arm. Perfect, exactly what we need for our zero drones. Um, so we'll jump to our next sector here. And, oh god. Um, I guess Sultan again. I don't feel great about that. 
Um, thank you so much for joining me, everyone. If you made it to this point in the video, feel free to support in the form of a like. It helps me out a lot. And if you want to see more content like this or of any other kind, please feel free to subscribe to my channel to be notified whenever I upload uh, videos of either this or of any other kind. And let me know if you like this new format of the video, if, if you like the shorter one compared to the longer one. And until next time, everyone, have a good one.